Yo, what's up guys? I haven't done a video like this in a while. I thought it was time to do one again. I'm gonna show you a breakdown of one of my more recent beats that sound pretty dark. And since Halloween's right around the corner, I thought this would be perfect. Uh, this beat is available on my YouTube channel and on BeatStars, so you can purchase it or use it for free, uh, as long as you credit me. I'll show you a preview first before I actually start to break it down. Also, I forgot to mention this. This melody is actually available in my loop kit. Uh, I send loops out every month. Uh, make sure you join the Discord server, which is also in the link below, uh, and you can get access to this. All right, so the first thing I did was I made this piano melody in FL Keys, which is just the stock plugin. All right, it kind of looks complicated, but it really isn't. I'll break it down. So I'm leaving the ghost channels on so you just can see what I'm doing here. Uh, but the first thing I did was I just started with a simple chord, just these two notes here, and I played them out. Uh, what I did next was I just copied it over and I moved this bottom note down because that two-step method where you play two notes that are right next to each other, it gives it a darker feeling. So this is what it sounds like. This method is used a lot in drill. Uh, so the next thing I did was I copied these root notes down and then I took these notes again and I copied them up. Uh, instead of letting these upper notes just play like this, I played them to a rhythm. So I shortened them down and then played them every, every quarter bar. So this is what that sounds like. Now I came up with a kind of a repetitive melody at the top here. And the last thing I did was I made a top melody. Now to keep that kind of creepy sound, uh, I had to stay within the two notes and within the scale, A and G sharp are right next to each other and so are F and F sharp. So if you play just these four notes, it'll give it kind of a darker sound. So I ended up just coming up with this simple melody uh, and then it's basically just this one melody that repeats itself. Pretty basic, no effects on this. Uh, I recorded it into Edison. Once I recorded it out in Edison, I reversed it and then I stretched it out so it was double the length. And this is what that sounds like. The only effects that I added to that was a reverb and I pitched it up two semitones. Uh, and this is what it sounds like. The next thing I did was I loaded up Labs and I opened up the Soft Piano, which is a free plugin by the way. Uh, and then I basically tried to find the right notes within the scale uh, after shifting it that sounded fine. So I basically took the existing root notes and I just kind of copied them. But because it's reversed, you have to remember that the note, instead of going from a higher note to a lower note, it's now reversed. So it'll play out as a lower note to a higher note. And all I did was I just copied these up an octave and then I just kind of shifted this up an octave. So it's just messing around with the same notes in the scale, just shifting them up and down octave. And now I played this melody with the existing reverse melody just to see what sounds good. And that's how I came up with this top layer here. Nothing really complicated with that. It's just playing the notes within the scale and what sounds good. Uh, the next step was to add some bells, which were the counter melody. I just, again, these two notes that were right next to each other within the scale. So the original melody that I played with the piano was F sharp, but I shifted it up too. So I used the notes that were in the G sharp scale. So what I did was I just played these half step notes right next to each other. Uh, and then the last thing I added was this lead sound just to give it some background noise. Uh, and then once I had that, it was just onto the drums. The drums are also simple, uh, just the hi-hats that kind of made it a little bit complicated. Now, all I add to the hi-hats is a little bit of reverb just to give it some sound, and, and same with the snares and the claps. Uh, for the 808s, I just followed those root notes. And for the kicks, they just followed the 808s, and this is what it ended up sounding like. If you're wondering about a 
effects on the master channel all i do is i cut the lows and the highs at a certain point i brick wall it and then add another eq and then cut out some areas that need cutting and boost some areas that i feel like are kind of quiet and then i just add a soft clip all right but other than that i kept it pretty simple i hope you guys like this tutorial yeah if you guys like these melody tutorials make sure you let me know in the comments below i'll post more uh and make sure you guys hit the subscribe button because i'm almost close to a thousand subs and that's been my goal for the year so help me reach it all right but i'm pj and i'm out